am currently seven weeks out from North Americans, um, the, my next national show, my first national show of this year, I mean my first show altogether. Um, I got married so I took a break. Um, so how I'm feeling so far in this prep, I'm feeling, you know, pretty confident. I don't want to be too comfortable. I'm actually terrified, you know, the first show of the season, well for me, no matter how long I've been doing this, it's always terrifying. Um, you know, the unexpected, I cannot carb up right the last, you know, five days and completely look like crap and my placing could be, you know, not in the top 10. Um, whereas I've placed, you know, second place before and, you know, top five several times. Um, so it, the lo those last few days are really important. I want to make sure I'm doing everything right. I haven't had those feelings yet during prep where you've just kind of like hit a wall. Um, you know, I do have highs and lows. I'm sure everyone does. Um, you know, I'm not like depressed or anything, but I definitely have been experienced low, experiencing lows and it's not because of prep. Um, it's not because of anything. You know, I should be really happy. It's just, it's a normal thing to be experience, experiencing lows and then you pull yourself, you know, out of it and, um, you know, and then you move on. So, um, you know, that just gets in the way of worrying about how I'm going to do. Um, my coach, um, well, I would call him more of a mentor. He just helps me tweak my cardio and macros. Um, I do everything else. And we have, we've had that understand, understanding since I've been working with him um, for the past three or four years. I can't remember, but he said I'm way ahead conditioning-wise, which is good. But, you know, I, I can't get too comfortable. If I get comfortable, that's when I end up doing bad. Um, but, yeah, my macros haven't moved at all. Um, I've increased cardio five minutes for next week heading into um, six weeks out. So I'll let you guys know how the following week goes. I'm sure as the weeks go on, I'm just gonna be more exhausted. But as of now, so far so good. So we are making rice cauliflower because my Trader Joe's is always out of stock of the pre-rice cauliflower. Um, it's super simple. All you do is put cauliflower florets in the food processor and you're good. The background noise are my puppies going nuts, but this is the finalized um, product and it is delicious. It is I just threw up. I am not a picky eater <laughs> at all, but every single time I try cauliflower, I throw up. I have never had a food like this. Like, I will eat anything. But, um, yeah, I threw all of it in the garbage. I'll show you guys. Like, that's all the cauliflower mash in the garbage or rice cauliflower. There's, you know, the cleaned out, an incredibly dirty sink, cleaned out, oh my god. <laughs> Only make that if you like cauliflower. <laughs> I do like things like, you know, like spaghetti. I literally like anything. I'm so shocked. Now I don't even know what my macros are because I ate a fourth of it. It was all mixed together. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go.